Thanks for tuning in. I am here in my bathroom today to talk to you about uh, home remedies for dog shedding. And the best thing that you can do, and the reason why we're in here, is to give your dog regular baths. Now, it depends on your dog's skin and coat type, and if you have questions about how frequently you should bathe your dog, click the link below this video. I have made a guide on that. But you want to give your dog regular baths. You can see Shady, Sadie uh, Labs are known for their shedding. She has all this excess fur. Uh, a bath, running the water over her, getting in there, scrubbing with a really high quality shampoo is going to release a lot of that fur that's already been shed. Um, and then of course you'll have to, uh, it, your dream will catch it and you'll have to throw it out. But um, that's a great way to kind of get rid of all that hair that's already been shed. And it's also a way to help the skin and coat um, to be healthier because the healthier your dog's skin and coat are, the less she's going to shed. Um, so some of the things that you can do to keep that skin and coat healthy are adding um, coconut oil, organic coconut oil, or fish oil to your dog's diet. Fish oil is packed with omega-3s, and um, both of those products are great for skin and coat health. It just aids in your dog's overall skin and coat health. You'll notice that the skin, um, if your dog suffers from dry skin, it moisturizes the skin, it moisturizes the coat, so it leaves the coat shinier and healthier, um, and also those hair follicles are healthier, so your dog's not shedding as much as he would if his skin were not healthy and his hair was not, her, his uh, coat was not healthy. Speaking of skin and coat health, um, most experts that you talk to, whether it's a groomer or a veterinarian, will tell you that the best thing you can do for skin and coat health is to feed your dog a healthy diet. A lot of healthy diets have uh, added ingredients like coconut oil and fish oil for skin and coat health. Um, it, health, just like with humans, starts from the inside out. If you have health issues, if your body's dehydrated all the time, um, if you have certain health conditions, if you have really dry skin, you can notice that in your hair. Um, you notice it on your skin. So the same can be said for your dog. A healthy diet makes them healthy on the inside, which aids in the health of the outside, the skin and the coat. So uh, a healthy diet, adding those added benefits to uh, their diet as well can help to uh, keep them healthy from the inside out. The other thing that you want to do, uh, speaking of food, is hydrate. I mentioned being dehydrated. If you're dehydrated, your skin dries out, your the coat is going to dry out, the skin is going to dry out, and you're going to notice a lot more shedding. So make sure that your dog's hydrated. Most average dogs will drink when they're thirsty. Um, if your dog doesn't drink as much as you think he should um, or you have questions about how much he should be drinking, again, there is a link below this video. I have a video guide. Um, it talks about how much your dog should drink in a day and if he's not drinking enough, how to get dogs to drink more water um, so you can keep your pet hydrated. And finally, um, brushing. Regular brushing is the number one thing that you can do because if you're brushing out the shed hair, for example, I'm just going to do one swipe down Sadie. This is um, the brush that I use for her. It's an undercoat rake because she has um, an undercoat. Not every dog does. Again, if you want more information on brushes, there's a link for that too. This is way too much information to put in one video. Um, so I tried to break it down and you guys can check out the videos that you need uh, information on. So if you're wondering what brush is going to work for your dog as well as this one works for Sadie, uh, you can check out that video guide as well. But this, all this fur, now I can throw in the garbage. Uh, and get rid of. So it's not going to be around my house. It's not going to be hanging off Sadie. Um, I'll do another just quick brush and you can see. So uh, after a while, if I spent 10 minutes brushing Sadie and getting that much hair off her every time, that big mound of hair that I collect is now not going to be around my house, on my furniture, on my clothing, in my bed, all of that stuff. So um, brushing is really key. If you give them a good bath, rinse off all that excess shed hair, then allow them to dry thoroughly. So either blow dry them or let them air dry completely. Uh, and then give them a good brushing. The brush is going to get all of that hair that didn't come off in the bath. Brushing is something with some dogs like Sadie, I brush her every day. Um, other dogs don't need to be brushed as much. If your dog sheds a lot, he probably is a breed that could benefit from being brushed daily. Some dogs shed more during different times of the year. So you may brush daily during those times, but then not as much in the times of the year where he's not shedding as much. 
Um, those are my tips for uh, home remedies for dog shedding, a healthier diet, regular bathing, regular brushing, adding um, omega-3s, fish oil, coconut oil to your dog's diet, and keep your pet properly hydrated. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video, guys.